We thought 2020 was a big year for crypto, but 2021 was next level. It was a year of Bitcoin. We saw all-time high after all-time high, ending the year at an almost 300% price increase since last fall, bringing Bitcoin's market cap all-time high to 1.3 trillion and cementing its place in the most valuable assets in the world. But price isn't everything. It was a year of stories. Just a few things that added to the explosion of Bitcoin adoption around the world. El Salvador made Bitcoin legal tender. Queda aprobada la ley de Bitcoin. Plus, friends in Brazil and more countries are rumored to do the same. The first Bitcoin futures ETF passed. The SEC approving this uh, ETF is a big signal to the market. Plus, institutional investors poured in. Corporations like MicroStrategy, Square, and Tesla added billions to their balance sheets. Icon Ray Dalio said cash is trash and that investing 20% of your portfolio in Bitcoin might be a good idea. Senators fought for sound legislation. And some representatives joined the pay me in Bitcoin movement, while athletes jumped on the rocket ship in a big way. Hey, Odell Beckham Jr., Russell Okung, Sean Culkin, Aaron Rodgers, and Saquon Barkley. Okung took half of his $13 million paycheck in the cryptocurrency. Bitcoin made big moves, but it was also a year of altcoins. The altcoin market cap grew over 600%. Ethereum ended the year with an almost 500% price increase, had record transaction numbers, and Ethereum, Doge, and Shiba Inu were among the most talked about coins this year. It was the year of NFTs. Non-fungible artifacts exploded with punks, apes, and top shots selling for millions of dollars, er, a lot of ETH. And leading Web3 metaverse companies now sit at a $27.5 billion market cap. A year of gold. Wait, never mind. At OKCoin, OK it was a year of growth ending the year with 2,800% more customers and over 450 growth in institutions than the beginning of 2021. We more than doubled our team to over 200 employees in 12 months and officially became a remote first and announced a new hub in Miami. We are still so early. We launched a rebrand, an easiest to use crypto mobile app in the 190 plus countries we serve. It was a year of assets and innovation. We launched over 40 new assets, including being the first to list Stax, AVAX, Near, Star Atlas, Miami Coin, and many more. This is the first time consumers can actually use a crypto asset to participate in, say, civic engagement. Oh, and we delisted a couple too. We became the first US licensed exchange to have a Lightning node and more layer two integrations with Polygon and AVAX Seachain. We introduced the world's first fee-free DeFi and staking experience with over 20 new staking offers on OKCoin Earn. We brought the easiest to use crypto app in the 190 plus countries we serve. We pushed toward a new Bitcoin standard with Sats mode to show decimal-less Bitcoin across your portfolio, buys, and milestones. We formed a brand advisory council to advise on how we can make crypto and crypto careers more welcoming for everyone, starting with Randy Zuckerberg and pledging to have 50% women on our platform by 2025. Woo! Let's just say this year was kind of a big deal. And it all couldn't have happened without you. Way to hold it down all the way to 2022. Congrats to our customers, partners, Bitcoiners, altcoiners, dozers, hodlers. We see you. We're going to make it.